So do you have a sock pocket? Oh, it's, it's always on. I do, yeah. Serious now, it's isn't so it? It's so serious. Right. What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm at the Huntsman in Wooden taking on a Palmo challenge. I'm joined today by the man himself, Danny from Rate My Takeaway and we're going to be doing yes. a Palmo challenge against each other. In front of us here we have, well, well, this is the awkward thing because yeah. I'm doing the challenge. They won't let me eat all that. I've not seen my toes for six months. If I eat that, I'm not <laughs> going to see them for another six months. So today, I'm going to be doing the challenge here at the Huntsman, and Danny is going to be reviewing the Palmo here. He's going to give you all the fun commentary. That's I'm it. going to do all the crazy eating. And all we need from you guys is to give the video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have anything else to add. And if you haven't yet subscribed or followed, do consider doing so before you leave. I have 30 minutes to get this down. If I manage to do it in that time, I will get the meal half price, and I'll go up on the wall of fame. However, if I fail, it's a 20 25 pound fine and today I don't want to be failing. Do you think you will eat this quicker than, than I will eat this? It all depends how much I'm talking and that's my problem. I just rant on and chitter chatter. And... You chitter, I'll eat. In three, two, one, let's go. Let's go. Right, so there you go. So Leah's tucking in. <laughs> right. Look at you. Wow, you don't muck about you, do you? Right, I'm just going to start off with these big chunky chips to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. These look amazing. Oh. Now these chips, nice and chunky, crispy, fluffy, they're just like the chips your grandma used to make you. Yeah. Deep fat fryer, bang on. Then there's a little bit of a, a salad garnish. As you know, I'm not into green. <laughs> I don't like it. You're not? Not salad. Uh, well, I do have salad. I have salad on, on my kebabs and I class that as my five a day. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can get away with it. So we've got oh, some good salad. big, beautiful onion. Oh, they smell good. Onion rings. Oh, they're all right, them. Lovely. They're nice. Have you got a method here which we go for first? Mm -hmm. Are you going for all that or are you just... Dipping in and out. Dipping it in and out. We'll have a go at that. The onion rings, nice and crunchy. Got a beautiful flavour to them. Oh, I love it. Proper onion as well. I don't like it when you get these breaded onion rings. They're all that mussed up stuff. Get the proper ones done. Right. How's it doing? Because I'm catching it up here. I've done an <laughs> onion ring and a chipping. You're <laughs> <laughs> going for it, are you? Straight in. No mm -hmm. fucking about here. I'm, 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 I'm not going to use knife and fork, I'm going to pick Palmer up like you. But I have got a big pack. Oh, look at this cameraman. Whoa, look at that cheer. Oh, yes, mate, look at that. So I've had a few Palmos before and I've fallen in love with them. This one looks amazing. It's like a nice, big, thick sauce under there. Nice bit of cheese. Can you explain Crunchy. to the people what a Palmo is? Well, I never knew what it was before in my life, to be honest. Before Just I come down a little bit. Describe it. There's a lot of Americans watching. Yeah, describe so it the Parmo like. is a fried chicken fillet. All right, then it's got like a cheesy bechamel sauce under there. Very thick and beautiful. And then just covered in cheese on top. And it just makes it delicious. And it is it is like a, a cheesy chicken heaven. What would you say? I would agree. Yeah, cheesy delicious. chicken heaven. So I'm going to go for it and I'm going to have a bite. Oh. Flattened chicken, breadcrumb, bechamel sauce, cheese on top. You just can't go wrong. If, re if you love cheese, you'll love a pot. It's an easy chicken and cheese dish. Mm -hmm. Should make that into a bag of crisps. Chicken and cheese. So as far as flavour goes, for me that is absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. I like the crispiness of the chicken. I love the bechamel sauce in there. The chips are wonderful as well. Proper, they're like what your grandma used to make. These days it's just all frozen chips. People are not chipping them, you don't get chunky chips anymore like this. So when I stumble across them, I think it's great. How are we doing here? What time are we on? Is it only three minutes? <laughs> oh, I At least catch up because I've, I've only got one and you look here. Tearing it a bit like it's a bit of garlic bread. Tearing char. This is it. Not tearing, we're in a competition here. If I beat you today, that's it, you're done. 
Oh, but honestly, I'm nearly full. Honestly. No, you're not. If I'm honest, I'm a bit starstruck here. I'm thinking to myself. Because <laughs> I've, I've been watching you for years, and I've watched some of the stuff that you eat and put away. Look at you, she's getting ready to try you, aren't you? I am. She's condensing it down so she knows what she's got there left to eat. There we go, yeah. <laughs> So now I can see Chef and he's thinking, oh my God, that's it. I might have lost 25 quid here. Do you enjoy the food when you're eating it like this fast? Yeah? Yeah. The first half of every challenge is always what I pay the most attention to. Is that because you enjoy it? And then the mm -hmm. second half, it's just the job to get mm -hmm. it done. <laughs> that's like me with right down with cameraman. First half's all right. Way back, I can't be bothered with him. <laughs> right, here we go. I'm going to try and put this one, I'm watching you now. I'm going to put, put this one away. Here we, are, here we have it. Is that it? You're done? Is that it? I'm still chilling. Oh God, I can't do that. I'm not being funny, it looks like a big mouth. There's a lot in there now. <laughs> Is it, have you ever, like, does it make you feel ill sometimes? At the end of a challenge, if I'm trying to take big bites, it, it doesn't feel nice. You're not done, Danny, come on. I'll, 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 I'll crack on with chips. Don't make me full name you. For what? <laughs> For what? Full name you. All right. I Daniel people, well, I Daniel people, I Daniel you. <laughs> There's definitely an art form of this, because I'm thinking, I need to go for a granddad nap in a minute. I'm getting tired. I've only got a little plate. So we're just dipping up to nine minutes here. Mm hmm. Oh. Come on, Danny. Give it some welly. Give it some welly. Look, look at you here. Monster, <laughs> mate. It's like Halloween episode, this. I'm sat outside of Bigfoot having a big dinner. Danny said, just be yourself, so this is what I'm doing. Yeah, you'll be yourself. <laughs> you can imagine it, can't you? Imagine taking, taking Leon out on a date. You're like, right, love, what do you want for your starter? Bang, menu's gone. What do you want for your main course? Full menu, love. Every time you've got through your prawn cocktail, she's done three steaks in. It's a massive misconception, you know. People are like, oh, I'd hate to take you out on a date. I'm like, literally, this is me working. I'm working. Well, I'll let you off. I wouldn't let like a finance guy get out the Excel spreadsheet during a date and do oh. his work. I'm a lovely date, by the way. <laughs> Corroborate, Danny, please. Yeah, lovely <laughs> date. Before this, we had a bottle of wine and a chat. <laughs> and she didn't neck that. You can see she's still sober. I'm a non-drinker, so... Are you? I don't drink much. Relatively right. cheap. Oh, my God. If I'm honest, I can't see how you're doing this. This is boggling my mind. Because... Basically, am I impressing you, Danny? You are impressing me, the fact that... Because when, when you're eating a parmo, with that cheese, cheese is heavy, and then you've got those taters going in as well with chips. Mm -hmm. That's what's boggling my mind. I mean, you know, the, the greenage and... The young and rings, they put a little bit... You know, they put that little bit of grease and fat in there. But it's that for me, the amount in the cheese. Oh, cameraman's like, come on, Dad, get eating, you let it side down. There was that some more Would you do the honours? I will, I will be here to assist you today in busting this challenge wide open. Get some ice in there just to put more calories in. So going back to dating, mm -hmm. do fellas, like when you've been out on dates, do they expect you to eat a lot? Uh, no. Oh. The people that I would ever date probably already know me. Yeah. And they know that I'm an absolute lady outside of filming. Yeah. yeah. And I'm a fitness girl, so I'm yeah. super like conscious of calories and things like that. <laughs> she says As you can while see. shoveling coleslaw. Oh I've never done here with chips mate. I'm gonna pull some of this cheese off here. Oh yes. See what I mean? I mean, just just look how thick and claggy and dense that is. <laughs> Putting all that down. Mm -hmm. I love I love chunky chips because they're not they're not uniform, are they? They're not all the same size. 
the chunky, the crispy, the soft. They're just one of the best chips that you're going to have, I think. Proper home cooked chips. Beautiful onion rings. Proper fresh onion rings, bit of beer latter. Tastes absolutely great. You know, to come to this meal with them goes well. Bit of coleslaw, bit of salad. But the main thing for me, the parmo, it's it every bit, every note for me. Flavour, taste, looks. I can't give it nothing less than a solid 10. <laughs> if I did give it less than a solid 10, it should be eating my head. <laughs> so I'm looking at time here. Oh, we've creeped over the 15 minutes here. So now I'm just, I'm here to cheerlead you on. Let's do this. Okay, what a 30 minute challenge. I'm quite confident that you're going to blast that. Mm -hmm. Don't talk, you just eat. I mean, you know. I'm now, I'm back in you, Leah. Come on, let's do this. You can do this. It's on a film, that, isn't it? There's some long call time. It goes, you can do this. I'm seeing it. Adam's on the film. You can do it. Water boy. Yeah, there you go. I think what amazes me with, with, with all the competitive eaters out there is one, the speed that they can eat, but two, a lot, of, a lot of them, how they condition, how they condition their bodies afterwards. This is it, it gets that last bit. Scraping it up. It's gonna be a tight one because eight and a half minutes. Is that what you wanna beat? Is the record. Come on, you can do this, I'm with you. Uh, you're now my favorite competitive eater. We're gonna get together, come on, <laughs> let's do this. So do you shout stop or do I just stop it? You can stop it when I show an empty mouth. Show an empty mouth? Mm hmm Oh, it's tense full. Come on. Positive mental attitude, this mm -hmm. is it. Is that it all in? Mm hmm I turned my head for a second and mm -hmm. onion ring's gone. Done. 17-23, wow. Wow, well done. So is that is that the, you're the new record holder for the Huntsman now? That, as far as I know, is the new record. Yeah. Yes, we've had confirmation wow. from the man behind the camera. He's saying that is a new record. I couldn't even do one. The standout was definitely, definitely yeah. the chips and the onion rings. I think they were delicious. They, the texture, consistency, the crunchiness, the flavour was all there for me. And I ate an awful lot of them, so I have grounds to make an opinion on them. The you have grounds to make the biggest opinion. The standout yeah. thing for me is that I'm sat outside of Leah, the warrior food eating princess, <laughs> because there's no way. Is that? A, did you just come up with a brand new there princess character? There you go. That's <laughs> it. You're going to be going through jungle now, swinging through, eating all, all the, the vines and pulling out coconuts and just chomping them in half. Not a problem. Boom. Look at that. Beautiful. I'll, I'll be sat there cowering in a corner because Tiger's going to get me and you'll be like, get out of the way. <laughs> There you go. The no, I, I'm, I'm impressed. It, like I say, I've, I've, I've watched your videos. I've seen some other competitive eaters, but I've, this is the first time I've actually sat down with a competitive eater. IRL. Right, yeah, and, and experienced it. And I'm actually sat here, and I kept glancing over, and I'm thinking, how is she doing this? I love the idea of just having like a commentator, and I think that yeah. you did a very good job of that. But do you know what? I was a bit worried at first, because I'm thinking, if I keep you talking, all right, you're going to be losing. So if I'm honest with you, I bet you could shave two minutes off that if I wanted. Maybe, but you gave me opportunity to breathe and actually chew my food. So, right. yeah, my there parents will be thrilled. That, that, I was, I was just you, about Danny. to say, my mum and dad said, always oh, chew your food, don't be greedy. So, well done. You chewed don't your be food. greedy, my goodness. Mum and dad, she chewed the food today. I'm professionally greedy. She, she's beat the record uh -huh. and she's chewed the food today. <laughs> it is a win-win. It's a Positive win mental everyone. attitude. That's yes. It. We're all on board. Yeah. Right then, everyone. So, this was the Palmo Challenge at the Huntsman, complete in... 17 and a half minutes. I'm really pleased with that time. That means that we are now top of the leaderboard. I want to thank Danny for being here today and being a fantastic commentary the entire way through. I didn't nick through. anything either. Didn't nick anything. Usually I'm like nicking a chip. But you even were... have to help me. Oh. Enjoyed your meal. I enjoyed mine very much. It was very nice. What did you rate to the Huntsman? I, I give it a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Because for me, crispy onion rings, beautiful chicken, nice bit of sauce, cheese were gorgeous. It's the chips for me. It's the chips. The, the chunky homemade chips. I love them. Yeah. All right. That is what you need. I don't like all this. 
you know, when you go to these places and the you fancy get the pre-cooked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just want proper chips. Want proper chips. Proper chips. Proper chips. Proper chips. Proper chips. <laughs> Yeah. If you're coming up north, you want proper chips. Yeah. So this was the Palmo challenge, and that means that I get my meal half price. And Danny's getting the bill because he failed. If you enjoyed this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have anything else to add. If you haven't yet subscribed or followed, do consider doing so before you leave. Head over to Danny's channel. I'll leave links to his down below in the description. Go and let him know that the shot sent you. Just spam him with comments and yep. let him know. That spam it. Spam it. Spam it. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. So I was raised correctly. You did go a bit posh then as well, raised correctly. I sometimes speak not like I'm from Birmingham.